Can it demello? Ek sali gaon. Ek sali gaon. You were just sharing with us. Demello wado. You were just sharing with us what all you do, Kenneth. Can you repeat, please? Uh, at the moment, I have a few chickens, fifteen of them. Yeah. And I get my regular supply of eggs from them. Tell us about the bees first. Then I find that I have, interesting. Then I have about five beehives, wherein I get around one one and a half kg from each beehive. Depending on the flowering season, it's I see. not regular. I say. If the flowering is more, you get more. If the flowering is less, you get less. During what flowers? What flowers are these? Any flowers? Any flowers? Last time I got, it was totally tamarind flavored. The honey was tamarind really? flavored. Really? Okay. And people were shocked. And I also myself didn't know where the tamarind trees are. So how long did you take to learn it, and when did you learn this? I learned stage by stage. I bought first one hive. Yeah. Then I applied for the subsidy. I What's the subsidy sub element? The subsidy is you have to undergo a beekeeping training for one day. You get a di di uh, diploma or okay. a certificate. Certificate, yeah. You take that certificate and go to Khadi. What, Khadi and village industry. industry. KVIC. Then you put that, put an application form, and apply for the subsidy. How then much? You have to give them Percent? a photograph of you with the beehive. <laughs> <laughs> so then you get a subsidy for five beehives. Of how much percent? You get around it's around seventy percent of the cost. Great, yeah. To eighty percent. What you is the chance of it failing? Failing? I don't know. I have not faced failing so far, but many people have faced failing. Why? That is the area is not. They don't have sufficient uh, pollen and honey to collect in and around. They have a one kilometer range. Bees. Bees. In that range, if you have something that flowers, very, their main flowering is soapnut is a very good agent. Really, rita, 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 soapnut, then uh, even uh, drumstick, uh, tamarind, jambul. At this season, jambul is very good, and the honey is very expensive also. Even. Wow! So this time, I am planning to take a hive and put it in Kalvi, where there are five jambul trees which are flowered. So I will get, Let me get them to work for you. Yeah, and uh, it is also very good for diabetes. This honey. Jambul honey. Yeah. So well, this is. About, what is your output of honey? I told you, you get about a kg or a kg and a half from each hive per per flowering season. Three depends months. on the flowers, no. And it's mostly from October it starts because during the rain they don't produce it. Any problem with stings and uh, managing you them? You do get once in a way. I got thrice in okay. my whole two year and a half years. I got thrice. That also because I was careless. Or you use some scent, or you are too sweaty and you are smelling, yeah. then they attack because they are very uh, distinct to any scent, anything, any scent. Like once I was drying saffron, turmeric. Yeah. I was drying turmeric and that smell was very strong there. And I opened this hive too. They all came out and they were wild for about a minute. But I had my uh, gear on. So So you are saying bees are doable in Goa. It's worth it. Very good. And no tension at all. Once in 15 days you just have to broom the bottom of the hive. That's it. For what? There are some worms, sometimes spiders go in okay. and create cobwebs. These cobwebs and all, they immediately they sense and they don't fly towards the thinking they get caught in them. Tell us about tilapias. Till then, uh, fish, I bought fingerlings. They are about, yeah. I think I bought them for about 3 rupees each. I bought 50 pieces. From Benauli? From, no, this is from Major. Uh, Major. Mm -hmm. And uh, I bought the feed also from him. You have to feed them once or twice a day. Very little, a handful in that way. And in about eight months, they become about 700 to 750 grams. Each? Each. If you keep them for a year, they become about one kilo. And they are quite expensive. The flesh is very tasty. I have eaten, when I brought the fingerlings, I brought three pieces from him. To I see what the future would be. I tasted it, it was nice. But now looking after it at home, my wife and all are a little allergic to them. They say, no, these They're are pets. like pets. So I had to So you there in the well or what? No, I built a small pond about okay. two pond. cubic meters. And the ratio is every cubic meter twenty kg 
office can survive. Oh, 20. Max, so if it's so, more than 20, it's... So your background is engineering, that's the secret I why you manage? I'm a civil engineer. <laughs> so that's the secret why you manage? Yeah. No, no. It's, no, you eat Technical com- skills. it's more common sense. And in it now with the with the net most of the thing you have any problem you just go there you get solution. And then so this is about the tilapia. And your plot then you were I saying? have a plot which was a jungle. Excuse me. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, people okay. were trying to. It's on the road, so I was having problem of somebody encroaching and all that. So I just put up a fence. I had a lot of problem. Then I started chopping off a few wild trees here and there, got caught by forest department a couple of times, but managed to clear the entire plot. Now I have about 200 different fruit trees in there, from which from this year onwards, I think four mango trees have already flowered. This is just after the Covid I started this. Wow. And uh, I dug a well. And now, because of the shortage of water, I went in for drip irrigation, went on the net, studied the net, went to Bagedar in Konda, bought all the fittings. Without subsidy in this case? Without subsidy, because I found it's very cheap. In about 20, 22,000, I got all the 2,000 trees I see. Covered. irrigated, covered. So, what was the point in running for the subsidy? And then subsidy for this year is closed. You have to apply after the financial year. By that time, my plants would die. Yeah. So I said, might as well go. And I went to Bagidar in two trips I made. About 10,000 worth material I bought and that's it. Very interesting experiences. If someone wants to contact you, how? Uh, on my phone number. Number? 940 I stay at Donapola in a small 4, 440 square meter plot. Okay. In that, I have the chicken, the fish and the bees. Great going. <laughs> All the best. Thank also, you. your connection with Saligao, uh, your dad was yeah, Connie dad, and your mum was uh, Muriel, Muriel yeah, teacher. popular teacher at Lutz yeah, Convent yeah, yeah. and dad was a chef, I remember. Yeah, yeah. All the best. Thank, Thank you, so. Kenneth. Keep Bye. it up.